why is it or they may even ask you how long did it take you to do that painting right, right, right. right and i'm not sure what your typical response would be but my response would be it took you 33 years to create wow. that painting, right? oh, wow. yes. because wow. every stroke in that painting every line every color every narrative in that painting comes from a 30-year journey wow. right so that's how long it took to create every single one of these paintings. Yeah. Well, we All should right? take it farther back than that because when I started talking about being in Charleston, right? Mm -hmm. You see, because my work is therapeutic. Mm -hmm. I've been dealing with my own therapy. Not only through my work, but through a community of people, right? That each gave something to me so that each turning point in my life, I was able to add that to my creativity. So I was creative. Before I started painting, so it, it's even it's, according to what you just said, it's older than that. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's profound, mm -hmm. you know. You know, and so I've always had a creative approach to life. I think that I was born in some kind of way with this that that artistic sensibility. Kids used to tease me a lot, right? And they tease me so much that I, used to, in order to recover emotionally, I used to trace comic books. And I traced so much that I actually discovered how God introduced me to my artistic ability. So that's how I learned how to draw. So in, in line with what you just said, look at and that was like six years old. <laughs> well, you know, um, I like that. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> Love that. You know, she's from Jamaica too. You know, when you talk to Jamaican. How long have you been doing this creation? <laughs> They're from creation. <laughs> I love that, which is true. <laughs> this creation or this creativity is really in our DNA. It's in our ancestral DNA. You know, there's a lot of us who could it could be tapped into. Not everybody's supposed to be an artist, but each one of us have a purpose and a passion or a platform that is a, comes from a long line of our culture and history. And, and that's what I keep now more so appealing to and nurturing this creativity that I have today. The truth of the matter is, I can say it now because the statute of limitations is up. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the truth is, I jump bail. Yeah. I got in trouble because of an assault, right? Try to protect my own family, my sister who was stealing. I'm stupid taking them to the store, they steal it. I get out, the, the manager uh, tries to uh, hold them for arrest, I knock the manager down. I didn't get arrested right away, but I got turned myself in. And this manager happened to be a white man. Now if you're in Charleston, you don't even assault a white person. Go to court, it's quick, go to court, Judge saw me, saw the white man, the judge was black. Looked at me, looked at him and said, I don't think I can try this case. I don't think I'm gonna move this on. So they appointed me a lawyer. When I went to the lawyer, black lawyer, the lawyer never looked at me. He said, they want you really bad. I was like, this is rude. Something. He said it like that, he was so, Scary, I said, I'm getting the hell out of here. Because mm -hmm. I'm not going to be in prison. So I gave myself a chance. Mm -hmm. Well, fast forward. In 1996, the Arts and Cultural Affair of Charleston invited me back. <laughs> next to the mayor. <laughs> they don't know I'm an escapee. <laughs> I'm sitting next to the mayor with my first art collection wow. and they're proud of me. One of our own that went off and became good. So wow. it worked out. <laughs>